Now I'm gonna share with you a technique that's very easy that you can use easily anytime you're looking to come up with a new idea or maybe resolve a situation. This is what I want you to do. I want you to ask yourself, what would I do if the opposite were true? That will help you stimulate creative thinking. What would I do if the opposite were true? Let's create a scenario. Imagine that you're a small business owner and that you've been successful and that all of a sudden a recession comes along and you're losing market share rapidly. You're having a hard time finding new clients. You're losing clients and you're beginning to panic. You're beginning to think you might have a crisis on your hands. So what do you do? Ask yourself what you would do if the opposite were true. What would you do if you had more clients than you knew what to do with? What would you do if you were overwhelmed with clients and you couldn't handle servicing them all? What would you do for that? Think on that for a while. Write about it a little bit. And as you do, this little technique is very likely to trigger an idea that will lead to solve your original dilemma of not having enough clients. Now I mentioned you might be thinking this is a crisis. There's an interesting thing about the Chinese language. In the Chinese language, they have a symbol that can be used for both crisis or opportunity. And if you think about it, crisis and opportunity are really just two sides of the same coin. Depending on what? Your perspective, that's right. So you wanna make sure that you can change that perspective and if you have to, you force it. That's part of becoming an innovator. There are several things that coalesce together to become an innovator and that is partly technique, which I've just shared with you, one technique you can use. It's also about mindset and lifestyle.